All right, guys, this is the first time I am holding in my hands a Taurus. Pretty fucking sick. So my sister owns this gun and she let me borrow it and, you know, do a video on it. So I always bring Glocks to the channel, this and that. But now we have an actual different, you know, double action, single action weapon over here unlike a glock which is just single action so i'm gonna go ahead and take the magazine out here's the little button to pop him out right there and i'm gonna make sure it's safe you can still manually rack the slide bag which is cool oh i fucked it up Hold on. you can still manually rack the slide back and i've been um messing with it you can also let me shoot it you can also crank the hammer back so that's the gun being single action so now i can just pull the trigger all the way to the wall bang it fires or i can have a double action and i can pull while the hammer's already down to load up the hammer and still make it fire really fucking cool so you know you can cock it fuck it bit the shit out of my hands wow yo <laughs> It bit the fuck out. Wow, that's the first time a gun really bit me like that. Holy shit, that almost made me bleed. Nice. You see that? All right, so that's probably the one thing, one of the one things I don't like about this gun. The, the barrel is exposed. So if you try to cock it back really quickly, like as you saw just now, and your hand is like kind of smushed in there with that exposed barrel, it could really, it could really eat your skin up but anyway you can cock it like this bang or you can cock it like that i just think you know it just adds a layer of depth to it now is it safe to carry i'm not too sure now there's always the argument of like if it has a hammer you know it could fall if it drops you know the hammer might fall down but basically even if you have a glock the hammer is still cocked back so there's still something holding it back i just have to get more you know detail on a taurus to see how safe it really is but right now man i can't lie this this trigger pull ah uh, so much better than the fucking glock i understand when people say glock triggers feel like shit because this this trigger pull feels amazing, even when it's on full double action. It's a little tighter, but it's so crisp. Like, it just makes me want to fucking, it makes me want to just shoot this thing for real, for real. Like, you know, you know, the Glock sometimes hurts your wrist and it's like, ah, I'll take a little break. But this shit makes me feel like I'm not even going to get tired. Like, man. But yeah, that's the Taurus right there. It also does have a safety, which is foreign to me. I noticed that the second I got it, I was like, oh, one of them things, you know, Glock people don't really know what those are. It's the ambidextrous safety. So you could pop it on from here or you can pop it on from here. Really fucking nice. And um, one thing I don't like about the fucking safety, though, is that the, the trigger is still a little spongy. It's like you can pull the trigger. It doesn't fall by any means, but it still feels like it's going to fucking shoot. Like, it feels like the same double action weight. I can pull it back about an inch. And it's just scary. Like, if it's loaded and your finger kind of brushes against the trigger and it moves and that bitch is loaded, bro, and this shit's on safety, I would just like the trigger to be stiff. Like, just not move at all. You know what I mean? But it works. Like, it hasn't failed on me since I've been fucking around on, with it, so... You know, but one thing I don't like about the safety is that it still leaves a spongy ass trigger. Um, you can't cock it though, which is cool. You know, you can cock it back, then put it on safety. Then you can't fire it. The trigger is fully dead. So that's that's cool about it being fully cocked. The trigger feels just no spring life in it at all. But still, it's a little. I would just like no trigger movement. I'm pretty sure the. The mechanism inside just doesn't operate that way, so that's why it doesn't work out that way. But, um, yeah. That's the Taurus, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go through, you know, the things I didn't know, probably like another video later. But I just wanted to show you the gun, break it down, and um, put it back together. And then on another video, we'll do the more detail 
comparisons on this and the Glock and other things like that. So um, just for your pleasure, I'm gonna break this down. There's a button right here that you can press. Press it down. I like leaving the gun unloaded, so if it was like cocked like that, I'd go ahead and pull the trigger before I go ahead and take it down. But in my knowledge, you can probably take this apart. I believe you can take this apart at any stage, cocked, uncocked, you can take it apart. So on the right side of the gun, there's a button, you push it, you flip it over and there's a lever and you pull it and it pulls the whole gun barrel forward. From there, you're basically open. Gun opens up, bam, spring kind of pops out, kind of like a Glock spring, kind of interesting though. It's like an extra long spring, double the length of the bar. So that's kind of cool, different design. Then we have this barrel with two parts on it. It's like two separate pieces that kind of just dangle. I'm gonna figure out what this pat um, particular piece is right here, but I think it has something to do with the safety. That's the barrel right there. And then this heavy ass, um, this heavy ass muzzle right here or whatever the fuck you call it. Um, really heavy and i think because it's a nine millimeter it'll like really mitigate that recoil like you really won't even feel the recoil so yeah guys i'll hit you back with hopefully a video on the range and also a video on the deeper things that i find out about this new gun have a great day